Circumbinary planets are planets orbiting two stars. They've been nicknamed Tatooine planets because of the iconic Star Wars scenes where we see Luke Skywalker at his home, Tatooine, where he sees two suns in the sunset. We believe that planets form from disks of gas and dust. These are called protoplanetary disks. Circumbinary protoplanetary disks are disks that are orbiting two stars in the center. We only know of about a dozen circumbinary planets, and those planets orbit binaries with periods shorter than 40 days. So these systems represent a really unique outcome of planet formation. So in our research, we wanted to understand the typical alignment between the binary star and its circumbinary disk. Ours was the first study to study a large enough sample of circumbinary disks to actually discern trends in the population. We used ALMA data in combination with high-resolution optical and infrared spectroscopic data to determine the degree of alignment between the binary plane and the disk plane for these smallest systems. We compared these disks with systems previously studied by ALMA, particularly disks around much longer period binary stars. We found that the shorter the binary period, the more likely it is that the circumbinary disk will be aligned with the binary. But if the binary period is longer than a month, we found a wide range of misalignments with the protoplanetary disk. Based on this research, we now know that misaligned circumbinary planets around tight binary stars with periods shorter than 40 days must be fairly rare. We also know that there might be longer period binary stars that do have misaligned planets. So it'd be very exciting to search for these systems using other complementary detection techniques like direct imaging and microlensing. One exciting new research question um, spurred by this work is really understanding why this strong correlation between alignment and binary star period exists. We're in a really exciting era of radio astronomy because with facilities like ALMA and the coming next generation VLA, we have the potential to zoom in to the planet forming environment and actually see protoplanets forming and sculpting their birth environments directly.